All right, here we are for game one of our sealed match of the Dreamscape Magic set. Uh, Abby rolled to go first, so she's going first. We're on the draw here. With <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. We have a pretty decent opening hand. We got both of our colors. We have a two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop. Probably not going to cast this guy until we have something in our graveyard, but you never know. And this guy's not going to be too great, but, you know, he does combo with this guy. Even if um, even if our Charred Visionary can't attack, he can still tap, make this guy at least a 2-2. So, whatever. We got some beatdowns. You like your hand, Abby? Oh, yeah. You're going down, sucker. All right, go ahead. <laughs> so, if you want to see, if you haven't seen our list that we're playing here, you can just check out the, uh, oh, what's this? So, Slumbering Prairie. So, you got to put the top card of your library. It says here. you may. Oh, you may. Oh, so you're not going to? Nope. Okay, interesting. So we will untap draw. But yeah, if you want to see the deck list that we'll be playing here, you can just go ahead and uh, watch our deck building video of the seal. That's the deck we made here. And then afterward, Abby and I made a deck for her as well from a different sealed pool. And it's very different from this one. So, ah, so you have a two drop Dawn Crusader with Dreamwalk. So I we, sure do. So we can't block it unless we have a tapped creature. Bum, bum, bum. Luckily, we will probably very soon. So let's draw. All right, we're getting a little flooded here, but not too badly. We'll play our Nightfire Brute, currently mm -hmm. a zero two, 2 and go ahead. What a brute. Yeah, just look at that guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> he loves them tap creatures. Yep. So Dream Crusader can come in. Can't do much about that since we have no tap creatures to block. But, again, this guy should be pretty good at keeping him back. We can tap him during our turn, and then we'll have a tap 2-2 two, two first strike. So pretty good. Hopefully we'll draw an instant or sorcery for this. And I guess we now have enough mana for our Sun the Source Force. And, yep, take two from the Dream Crusader. All right, all right. So Abby has three mana, and... Equinox Sage, yes. So Abby had a ton of these. I think like three or four of these mm -hmm. in her sealed pool. And also a pretty good uh, other synergies with gaining life and losing life. So we uh, kind of built her deck around that. So we'll see if it works out. And meanwhile, we're just going to continue to draw land because that's what we do. And we'll play Charred Visionary and pass the turn. Oh, God. No point in attacking with a 1-2 into a 1-4. So... Abby's probably not going to be activating this ability a ton right now because it costs three mana to activate and plus she has to have a way to gain life in order to do it. And unfortunately, you know, she has a couple ways to gain life, but not a ton of them. So, and a lot of them cost mana. So we'll see what she can manage to scrounge up. Mm -hmm. All right. And it's uh, Moonlight God. Yep. Abby had one of those payoffs for the game three life or more during a turn in uh, her pool. I think this is she has one or two more different ones, but uh, yeah, so this is 3-1 flying at the beginning of the end step. If she gained three more life, then a creature we control gets minus three, minus two. So that's very scary, so. But no current way to gain life, and no current way to block the 2-2. Two, two. So we will take two. All right, pass turn to go. All right, so right now it seems like Abby's on the aggressive, and she's building up kind of an <coughs> engine here, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, Dream Portal's nice. We have drawn nothing but lands this entire game, but uh, not complaining just yet. I guess we'll... We'll just save it for later. And so let's see here. Abby can get in for 3 1 in the air. There's not much we can do. I guess we'll tap our divisionary to deal one damage to you. Okay. And now we have a tap 2 2 first striker. So we could attack for two, but that's not going to do much. Abby can block with her 1 4. Yeah, I mean, we could just, you know, do that and pretend we have a trick up or something, but then Abby could just get in for an extra damage with her 1, and I just don't feel like doing that. So we're just going to pass the turn. All right. Yeah, I really, I mean, again, we could have cast this guy, but we have, we get nothing back from our graveyard. We currently have nothing in our graveyard, and having the 2-3 down might be okay, but it still wouldn't get past the 1-4, and I'd rather, even if we're just going to do that, I'd rather have non-creature spells that we can cast to at least boost them up with prowess, which we don't even have. So, we'll see what happens. Next turn we have this, though, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, so Abby has something for two mana. It's Reap the Dreamer, and you are... Oh, God, all right. Yeah, you're targeting my 2-2 two -two first striker that's tapped. Yep. <laughs> yep, not much we can do about that. So that means now your Dawn Crusader can get in. <clears throat> and, and your Moonlight Guide. Oh, right. uh, yeah. Wow, you're just continuing the beatdowns over here. Yeah. Like, two, three, four, five, <laughs> down to... Whoops. Should go down to 11, I believe, right? Yep. Ooh, so Abby's life, life gain synergies don't even matter here. You're just taking us down with uh, just good old-fashioned beats. All right, oh, yeah? So this guy, not too big right now. We're not getting any of our self-mill cards, unfortunately. So let's see. If we play, if we attack with him, then we'll have a 1-2 back on defense to block the 2-2, two -two, so that's not very helpful. So I guess we'll just play our Somnosaurus Force. 5-4 Dreamwalk, and we'll end the turn. Okay. Go ahead. This guy has not been very impressive so far. 
We might sideboard him out between games. I'll keep that something to keep in mind when we're sideboarding for sure. Alright, so Abby has something else this turn. Two mana. Reeves Devotee, 2-2. Two, two. At the beginning of each end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, put two plus one plus one counters on her. So yeah, so that's another payoff for the gaining three or more life. But currently, it seems like Abby has no way to gain life, so pretty happy. Yeah, not at the moment. <laughs> so you getting in for the same beats again? Of course. Oh boy. Yeah, we're just taking a ton of damage here. So three in the air, two that we can't block. So one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Down to six. And your turn. Yep, so we will untap, draw, and we got Noctani Rememberus, gives elementals plus one, plus one. That's pretty good here. We need a way to deal with the flyer, though, because, I mean, we can, we're obviously going to attack with this guy, and we'll have a tap creature for this, but not very helpful otherwise. And this guy comes down, and he'd be a 1-1. One, one. Ugh. So, all right, well, let's, if we attack with this guy, he'll be a 2-2, two, two, and we'll have a 2-2 two, two on defense. <coughs> Only for Dreamwalkers, though. Hmm. Seems like yeah. you've got a flyer problem. I do have a lot of problems. All right, so let's go ahead and attack with our 5-4 Dreamwalker. I'll so you can only block the tapped creatures if you're going to... Oh, okay, you're just going to take it? Yeah. All right, sounds good. So we'll go to main, or main, and we could play Dream Portal and just crack it and try and find a removal spell or something for the flyer, but we're also going to... We have a blocker for here... I'd I think we just need to play a creature and hope for the best, but, I mean, this guy's going to kill us in two turns, so... Yeah, we might just need to find a removal spell. Hmm, this is unfortunate. So... Can we do both? No. Alright, I guess we're going to play Dream Portal and pass the turn, just because we need to find a removal spell, and we okay. have to get rid of this 3-1. Uh, I'd like to just play this and have a blocker for, like, right here, but... I just don't think we can afford to do that right now. We're just on the back foot to the extreme. All right, well, I guess I'm just coming in for beats. Yep. You can attack with everyone? I mean, I have, what, a 1-2 back? And my... Oh, well, I can block your dreamscape, guys, so maybe not. Yeah, it's back. not lethal, so... All right, so who's coming in for beats? Everybody! Everybody, except Don Crusader, makes of sense. Because I could block with this guy. So we're going to have to block here, so we could take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... And then we're dead to many things, or we get to chump block here, and then we take one, two, three, four, and then we're dead, still dead to many things. So I think we'll just block here, keep our creature alive, take five. Okay, take five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. All set. Yep. All right. Well, that's a relief at least. So I think during your end step, we'll sacrifice this, draw a card. We get a forest. Great. So let's untap, draw, and Tarmivore. Uh, that's not going to do anything here. Uh, are we really dead? I think you're dead. We just have no way to beat the fire. We could get in for seven damage, but we just have no way to beat the fire. Yikes. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and concede this game. That's, get wrecked! That sucked. All right, so I think we need to do some sideboarding here. So let's see. Do we have any... All right, Inspired Researcher we could bring in just for... We'd have to splash blue, but whatever. It might be worth it just for to have a little bit more removal. We could bring in, if we're going to splash blue, we could bring in winged, rem winged Reminiscence, just again to have a bit more removal, maybe Lethargy as well. Enter the Dreamscape, yeah, that's whatever. Uh, Sting of the Past, that could be something to bring in, just because, uh, the th I mean, we only we didn't see a ton of like one toughness creatures, but it's something to consider, so we'll bring it up there. Those are our blue lands, and then those. So let's see, what do well, we Sting want? Sting of the Past would actually would get rid of my... Um... Yeah, it would get rid of your flyer, but... I think that's all it would get rid of, so... <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. What's not so great? Um, I didn't like Nightfire Brute. That was just completely underwhelming. I just don't think this Noctani Rememberist is going to be that great, because we only have a couple elementals. I mean, if we get... if we Obviously, if we can make a ton of uh, elementals with our 2-2 two -two that makes elementals when it hits them, where'd it go? Ah, oh, yeah, our Mori Summoner right here, then it's great, but if we don't, then it kind of sucks. Just a 3-2. Mori's Chosen as just a Dreamwalk Prowess. Again, that's not so great. I'd rather have some other stuff. So we still have 41 cards in the deck. I like all of our other big guys. I like our big guys. I, we just need ways to not die to stupid Dreamwalkers and uh, Flyers. Destiny Crusher, also not so great. Let's see if there's anything else that we can get rid of. Oh, uh, man, I like all of our cards. I just, yeah, I guess we'll just get rid of, um, where'd it go? The Destiny Crusher. It's just a 
four mana, three, two haste, which is not so good. I mean, we've gone down a lot on creatures, but I think we'll be fine. So we'll bring in one, two, three, four blue, and then we'll get rid of one, two, three red, and then one green. And I think that should be good. We'll try it like that and see what happens. All right, here we are for game two of the Dreamscape Sealed match. So I'm on the play this time since I lost round one. And I like our opening hand here. We have three fours. We have all our colors. We have our splash of blue and uh, our red here. Inspire Researcher. So make sure we won't die to a stupid uh, flyer this time. And we also have two guys who are kind of um, dependent on having a good graveyard. This will get one card in our graveyard. And, you know, we could sacrifice this to get more cards into our graveyard, beef this guy up if we need to. But hopefully we'll draw some stuff to get more stuff in our graveyard, so... All right, you good with your opening hand, Abby? Oh, I'm so good with this hand. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play Slumbering Spires first. We'll move the top card to our graveyard, and it's a mountain end. Go ahead. Yes. Mountain's good. The draw. Because it beefs up Gardener of Wisdom. Not so great for Manic Researcher, but eh, whatever. Okay, all right. And I'm not going to bother with that graveyard business and say go. Okay, so we will untap, draw. Hopefully we, don't get uh, hopefully we don't get flooded again. I say as we get a little flooded, we'll play Inspired Researcher and pass the turn. So inspired. Yeah, it's a little inspired. So I'm glad we have this guy out just as a kind of a seal of fire kind of creature to take down any threats that are killing us. But uh, we'll see what happens. We are missing double red. That's another thing to keep in mind. Ah, there's one of Abby's ways to gain life. <laughs> so three, two and a white, tap it, gain three life. It is a zero three, so we can't kill it with Inspired Researcher, unfortunately. Hopefully it won't come to that, though. Oh, great, we drew a forest. That's perfect. End turn. Yo, pass one of those over here. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So Real. we're getting a little flooded, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We'd like to get six mana. That's about where we want to be. But if we could get maybe some of these lands into our graveyard somehow, that would be awesome. But I mean, if I could get any land on this side, that'd be oh, great. Oh, you're getting a little screwed over there? Yeah, it's a little dry over here. All right, cool. Well, I don't think there's anything we need to do during end step, so we'll go ahead and pass the turn. So dry. Untap, draw. All right, we got Mori Summoner, double red card. Great. And we'll pass the turn. Whoa, whoa, wow. So, unfortunately, milling that f mountain kind of hurt us a little bit, but... At least we didn't draw another forest, so thankful for that. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. <laughs> All right, well, Abby is getting out of her mana screw over there, so that means she has a grip of seven spells, which is not something I'm happy to see. Equinox Sage, all right, you're getting your engine set up here. Five mana, so we you'd gain five life and we'd lose two. Oh, kind of yeah. cool. Again, another <laughs> thing we can't kill with Inspire Researcher, but whatever. Going to go ahead and pass the turn. Yep. How inspired is she? Oh, okay, so we got Slumbering Spires, so we got another land comes into play. We put top card in Graveyard, and it's Sting of the Past. Okay, so at least we get a little bit of value with Manic Researcher for if we ever play that. And currently, this guy would come into play as a 1-1, one, one, so can't even play him this turn, don't have 5 mana, so we'll go ahead and end the turn. All right. So next turn, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. We could get back Manic Researcher. It wouldn't really do too much right now. Hmm. So maybe we'll just play Mori Summoner. <laughs> Ooh, all those Equinox Sages from your seal pool. <laughs> wow, you're really getting that engine going. Going I nowhere. Would, you know, I don't know what's going on over here, but something's going on. You're going 60 miles an hour to nowhere. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what it seems all like. All right, fine. Phew, good. We do something good. So glad to see don't that. Don't say that. So we're just going to go ahead and play Somnosaurus Force and pass the turn. What a force. Yeah, it's a force to be reckoned with. It is. It truly is. All right. So, and then hopefully we can get start, start getting some lands or creatures into our graveyard. Maybe get this guy bigger. Maybe we didn't have enough self-milling as I thought we did, but I don't know. We'll start attacking Somnosaurus Force. Go from there. We can play Mori Summoner next turn. See where, see where it goes. Yeah, and this yeah. thing of the past, ugh, not so great. Oh, you passing the turn? Yeah, I thought I, I mean, I had a really good hand, and now I'm just getting mana screwed, hey, so, I'm I mean. Glad to see that. All right. I'm not. On. Attacking for five, dream walk. Take five? Well, yeah, I can have to. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So, and then during our second main, we'll go ahead and play Mori Summoner, and I guess that's it. Go ahead, pass the turn. Let's see what we got it's here. It's interesting that, oh, you didn't have anything? Okay. You probably should have activated your Purified Visionary during your turn then, but whatever. Just to gain the three life. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's see here. We've got some stuff. You have a group of eight spells. Yeah, it's a little crazy over here. Well, All right. you just waste your turn in gaining life. That'd be awesome. Oh, no. Dawn Crusader. Right. So it's a 2-2. Two -two. 
Yeah, we could we could kill it with Inspire Researcher, but I'm not too concerned about that just yet. So let's draw. Great, <laughs> more land. So let's put the top card into our graveyard. Get some self mill. We got ooh some Delver. Nice. Like having that in our graveyard. And we have our two two prowess. We have no way. Of, oh, we could beef it up with this as an instant. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that? So we'll attack with Somnosaurus Force and Mori Summoner. Oh my goodness! All right, so let's see here. Do you have any blocks? Yeah, I mean I can block the Summoner with a Sage. That's not really a problem. Of course you could if you want. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right. Yes. All right. So you're blocking the Mori Summoner. Yep. And you're taking the full five from Somnosaurus Force. Unfortunately. All right. So before, well, okay. Uh, actually, no. Before damage, we'll do red, red, green, and we'll cast Sting of the Past from the graveyard with a flashback to deal okay. one damage to the blocking Equinox Sage. Okay. And then Mori Summoner gets plus one plus one because of Prowess, so it's a three three. So it'll kill your Equinox Sage. Okay. All right. All right. So this thing gets exiled, and you take five damage. Yes. I'm getting slaughtered over here. Glad to hear. <laughs> All right. So we have. Eh, not much else we can play. Don't want to do anything with this, so we'll pass the turn. All right, let's see if I can get something good. So slowly breaking through Abby's defenses. Uh, oh my god. You, uh, you, uh, what's going on over there? I'm going to have to discard because... You're going to have to discard? Yep, yeah, I'm not getting any land. This is ridiculous. I have a grip full of really good cards and I don't have any land. Why don't we gain three life? How about that? <laughs> All right. So gain three from your... Hey, now you can block my Somnosaurus Force. Still trample over for two, but whatever. Um, I prefer not to get rid of that. Uh, sure. Sounds good. All right, all set? Yep. All right, so are you going to discard? Go down to seven cards? Unfortunately. Maybe sometimes in this set, discarding can be to your advantage, so, you know. What are you getting rid of? Oh, it uh, Thrill of Battle, so that's the reason Abby's splashing red in her deck. Very powerful. You get to have an additional combat and choose how creatures block, so you can just say... Uh, nobody blocks, if you want. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so, we so bad. Draw. Ooh, Winged Reminiscence. All right, cool. So we, yeah, I mean, let's see here. Is there anything? If we play this guy, he's currently, let's take a look at Abby's graveyard. We should just have all the graveyards open. We have creature, land, creature, sorceries would be a 3-3. Three, three. Eh, that's fine. Have nothing to get back with this. I think we'll just play that post combat. So why don't we go ahead and attack with Somnosaurus Force and I'll take it. <laughs> One second. We'll attack with Somnosaurus Force and yeah, we'll just attack with that one. All right, I'll take five. All right, one, two, three, four, five, and one, then second main. One, two, three, four, five. We'll play Winged Reminiscence. So just three, three flyer and yeah. Pass the turn to you. All right, here we go. So we could have attacked with Mori Summoner. We could have also used the two damage spell to kill Dawn Crusader and then attack with Mori Summoner, but Abby would probably just block here, and we didn't really have any great ways to punish her for doing that, so not it's too much. It's a land. Oh, yeah, you got a land. Nice. But so, it comes to the battlefield tap. So you're just gaining. <laughs> so I'm gaining life, yes. <laughs> All right. That is pretty powerful, being able to gain three life. It's not. I mean, there's a pretty big difference between gaining one life and three life, so let's untap. It's keeping draw. me alive, that's for sure. We got a mountain, so we got super flooded this game, but we're still somehow beating Abby, so I am not complaining at all. I think, yeah, so if we, if we use this to kill this, we attack with this, yeah, it's still not that much better, so we're just going to attack with some source force and our flyer. Shoot, all right, so that's eight. Uh, eight damage total if you don't block. <laughs> I guess you're not blocking. Nope. All right, so anything change in the graveyards? No, not really. Don't really want to cast these, so we'll pass turn. We're still winning on board, so I see no reason to really cast these guys for absolute no value. So, All right, and you are doing something for four. Fallen Aspirant, sure, Dreamwalk. When it becomes tapped, I, draw a I discard a card. Fair enough. This doesn't matter anyways, I'm dead on board. Yeah, you're dead to the I'm flyer. just gonna, yeah. All right, well, that was... That yeah, and was... Even if you'd gained life, you'd have to, like, chump block with the Somnosaurus Force, trample yeah. over and stuff. Not so great. Wow, I really liked our version of the deck with blue in it a lot better. I just had took out kind of some crappy cards that I wasn't really excited about playing, so... Should we be playing the Amenazoa? I mean, how many flashback cards do we have? We have one, two... Yeah, I just... I don't think it's good. It does have flying, though. It's kind of nice. But I think just playing... These guys, because these are good at pretty much any point in the game, so... 
All right, cool. I think I'm happy with where our sideboard is, so <laughs> let's go to game three. Aye. All right, here we are for the third and final game of the sealed dreamscape set. You're so, going down, fool. <laughs> so the first time around, Abby kind of slaughtered me. Second time around, I kind of slaughtered her. So now we'll see what happens in this third game. So third game, we got we haven't seen these primal visionaries yet, so I'm interested to see how they work. We got wild flourishing. We got all our colors, so I'm feeling good. How about your hand, Abby? It's looking good here. You Hopefully I won't get mana screwed this time. Got lands this time around? Yes. All right, so go ahead whenever you're ready. All right, here we go. And, Say go. All right, so we will untap, draw, and we got, ooh, nice. All right, so we'll play this, mill ourselves for one. And, oh, okay, fair enough. And we'll pass the turn. So we did mill a Garden of Wisdom, which is kind of ironic in a way because we want other things in our graveyard besides him. But we do have another one, so. All right, well, I've got nothing here, so I'm going to go ahead and pass the turn. Say go. Uh, okay, sounds good. So we will untap and draw. And, ooh, we got our Meditation Prism. Nice. Yeah, this game's gonna, you are going down. No! Playing Mori Summoner on turn two, which is exactly where we want it, and pass the turn. Okay, all right. So whenever all we right. deal combat damage to Abby, we get a 1-1 one, one Elemental, which combos very well with our Meditation Prism. We can turn them into 2-2s, two and, oh, well, hey, Abby hit her third land, so <laughs> she has a 1-4. Oh, so that's gonna block, that puts a damper on our plans. Sorry! Only momentarily. All right, so we drew Sting of the Past, so let's see here. I, we, do we just want to play Meditation Prism? Yeah, no, oh, okay, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go to attacks. And Abby, do you block? No. <laughs> really? You don't? No, I do. I don't want you making creatures. Yeah, you don't want me making creatures. But after you block, we will do Sting of the Past to deal one damage to your Equinox Sage and pump our guy into a 3-3 to kill your Sage the same way we did last time. Hey. All right, and then we will end the turn. Okay. So we had to take a turn off there for Meditation Prism, but I think it was worth it to get rid of Abby's 1-4. So now if, um, if she doesn't have a follow-up play this turn, we can start getting in for two damage. So, Abby has Serene Light. Hey. Uh, okay, fair enough. So that means our guy can't attack, and its activated abilities can't be activated. That doesn't really matter, though. All right, fair enough. All set? Yes. All right, so we will untap. So maybe we should have just played the Prism last turn, but whatever. Anyway, this turn, we're going to go ahead and try out one of our Primal Visionaries and pass Ooh. the turn. Okay. To note, we still can block with Mori Summoner, so... Something to keep in mind, and if we can, we can even tap him with Meditation Prism to beef him up, so that way he'll become a big blocker. And if he's tapped, then he can block the dream, the Dreamwalk guys. All right, Purified Visionary, I'd be getting her engine going. Oh yes, can getting you hear going. it? Oh, I can hear it. <laughs> all right, all set. Yep. All right, so we will untap, draw, and we got Unrecognized Horizons. Ooh, that's a nice one. But well. Do we want to play Unrecognized Horizons and try and get more lands? Eh, I don't think we're in that big of a hurry. So we're just going to activate this since we need to do it whenever we can do a sorcery. And we will do another one and end the turn. Go ahead. Okay. So again, we could have done Unrecognized Horizons and Meditation Prism there, but mm, I'd rather just get down our guys that can start beating through Abby while she... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, well, she's stuck on lands, but now she's at four, so we'll see what happens. And Abby has Fallen Aspirant. All right, that's what we saw last time. That didn't help you, but it seems like it might be better this time. It might be better this time. All right, all set? Mm-hmm. All right, so we will untap, draw. Nice, got a forest. So we could do one. We have five mana. It's kind of an awkward amount of mana to have. I think Meditation Prism isn't really a great combo with these guys because they already can do <laughs> beef themselves up. But, yeah, I think let's play Unrecognized Horizon first, see what we get. So what do we do? We look at the top three cards. So let's view the top three cards. Forest, Slumbering Garden, and Slumbering Spires. And we can put, what, one land? Yeah, it doesn't really matter what we take here. I guess we'll just take, well, if we take, if we have one, two, three, one, two, three. Did we already play a land this turn? Yes, I did already play land. Okay, so we'll just take Slumbering Spires then, put these into our graveyard, put this into our graveyard, play Slumbering Spires, put the top card of our library into our graveyard, and we get more lands. So now we have four, and we'll activate this guy, add a counter, and we'll start attacking for three with our Primal Visionary. 
gonna take that? Um, let's see here. I mean, it doesn't seem like you have good blocks, but... Yeah, I, at the moment I will take six. Six? No, you take three. Well, I'll take three. This, the other one just tapped to put a counter on. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, all right. All right, so I'll then we three. go to our second main, and we'll do three mana for Charred Visionary, and pass the turn. Okay. Yeah, again, Meditation Prism, it's, it's fine, but... I, I'd rather just get more creatures on our board. So, and this Fallen Aspirant, not so great right now. Dreamwalk creatures aren't really good at getting in when your opponent is beating you down because they'll have tapped creatures. So, all right, so Abby has something. Five mana, it's Dreamscape Purifier. So it's a three, five Dreamwalk with Vigilance. Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. All set? Yep, best turn to go. All right, so we will untap, draw. Got Dream Portal, sure, might as well play that. Wild, is it time to start casting Wild Flourishing? We get for one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five, five seems pretty good on this board because these guys aren't getting in for anything. Go ahead and we'll tap all of these guys. So we'll put a green counter on this one, green counter on this one, and you take one damage from okay. this guy. And then we'll tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana to do Wild Flourishing okay. to make a 5-5 five, five green elemental. And we'll pass the turn to you while I make that elemental token. Okay. All right. So there's our elemental. It is not red nor 1-1, one, one, but we'll put green 5-5. Five, five. There we go. Now everything's perfectly clear. So we can flash back Wild Flourishing next turn, or we can play Meditation Prism. So we'll see what happens. Frontline Purifier. Well, it's equal to the number of creatures you control when it attacks. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Wow. So it's a 4-4, four, four, and when it attacks, it give all you guys plus one, plus one. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. I don't. I still don't think you can really get in for damage, though. I mean, right now, your Fallen Aspirant can't really get in, because I've tapped guys that are 4-4s, four, and this guy can't really get in, so... All right. Yeah, it's a little tough right now, but I'm still kind of holding you back, so... Yeah, we're kind of at a... Ooh. Never mind. What? The the force has arrived. What? All right, so let's see. What so we have, force? Oh, you'll we'll see. So we have 4-4, four, 4-4, four, 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 and this guy's a 4-4. Four, four, so I just don't see a reason to throw our guys in there yet. So let's just add some more green counters here. Maybe we should keep this guy back. And yeah, nah, we'll just deal one damage to you. Okay. So you're down to 15. Okay. And do we attack with the 5-5? Five, five? Since this guy has Dream Walk, and this would be attacking. Yeah, let's get in there. We'll attack with our green 5-5 five, five Elemental. All right, so you're blocking with the Purifier and the Aspirant. Yes. OK, yeah, that makes sense. So I will go ahead and deal all the damage to the Purifier. OK. All right. So that means Aspirant's down. I mean, not Aspirant. The, the Purifier's down. Yes. My Elemental is down. OK. Going to our second main, so this thing's currently a 3-3, three, three, much less scary. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I wish we had another mana so we could use this, but whatever. Let's get Forcey. Ooh. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I've been pretty impressed with Somnosaurus Force. It gets in pretty easily. It's unblockable a lot of the time, and it's just a big dude. So, yeah, for a common, it's very, very good. All right, Dawn Crusader, 2-2. Two, two. Sure, that's uh, not super helpful at the moment. Yeah, it's not very helpful, but it helps with the pump the front line. That's true. Counter, it makes us back so. into a 4-4. Four, four. Yes. All right. You got anything else to do? All right. Best turn to go. All right. Seems, again, Abby chose not to gain three life. A little bit uh, suspicious, but whatever. Ah, does it smell a little fishy in here? Mm, might. Let's play our Inspired Researcher, just so that way we'll have that up in case things go oddly. And these guys are 5-5s five now. This guy's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I think it's time to start beating down. So let's attack with our 5-5, five, 5-5, five, 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 and 5-4. Five, and you currently don't have any tapped guys, so I don't think you can block Somnosaurus for us. Let's see if something I don't know about. Ooh, Reap the Dreamer. Destroy target non-elemental, non-incarnation, non-nightmare creature. So you destroy our Elf Shaman. Okay, makes sense, good. I'll destroy your Elf Shaman, and I guess I will take eight. Sure, 10. Oh, I can't 10? take 10. Uh, you might wanna do something about this uh, Primal mm, Visionary. Yeah. All right, so we're going to have to double block this guy, as much as I don't want to do this. All right, so you're blocking with Dawn Crusader and Frontline Purifier. So Frontline Purifier is a 4-4. Four, four. Our guy is a 5-5, five, five, so we'll deal all of our damage to Frontline Purifier. Okay. Fair all enough. right, so that guy down. Reap the Dreamers in the graveyard. 
And let's see here. We could kill one of these guys with this, but I just don't think we need to. So let's go ahead and play Meditation Prism. And we'll pass turn. So we can tap, that means we can tap as many guys as we want. Oh, we probably should have done Charred Visionary. Oh well, hopefully. If we lose and Abby's at one life, then I'll feel very sad. All right, so you have... Repressor Maze. Repressor Maze. So I'm going to target your Visionary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you targeted my Researcher, then I could just sack it in response and more exactly. than I've dealt with already. So, okay. So you get to exile this until it leaves the battlefield. All right, well, I'll give this to you and... Uh, We'll just pretend like that means it's exiled there. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so if we kill Repressor Mage, then we get back our Charge Visionary. Okay, good to know. Now I'm even more sad that I didn't tap it to deal the damage. <sighs> Sigh. <laughs> Are you getting in for some beats? Or... No. No? No. Uh, oh, yeah, because some of the Source Force could block either of your... Exactly. Here. And we're going to go ahead and gain some life since I'm dying. All right, so you gain three life. Yes. All right. If only you had that payoff creature that gave minus three, minus three. I know. I know. This is so terrible. All right. Well, <laughs> go ahead. It's your turn. All right. So let's see. We could do Inspired Researcher here to deal two damage to Repressor Mage, get back our Charred Visionary. Um, do we really want to do that right now, though? I just... I mean, what else are we going to do with our Inspired Vision? I mean... We could do that anytime, so I'm just going to go ahead and untap and draw, see what happens. So we got Raving Spree. Ooh, that's a nice one. So we could deal a lot of damage here. In fact, we might just want to kill this thing right off the bat. But let's go ahead and we'll attack and see what happens. So we'll attack with our 5-4 Dreamwalker. Oh, that's right, it has Dreamwalk. No! So, yep, it's very, it's a little, it's, even after playing all these exhibition games or whatever, Dreamwalk is still a little, uh, Hard to wrap your brain around. It really sometimes. is. I'll take the five. Whoops. All right, so you should go down to eight. Yes. All right, and then during our second main, we'll tap red, red, green to do raving spree on your purified visionary. Ooh, that's just so that way you don't get any of those synergies online. And we could have flashbacked uh, wild flourishing, but eh, we don't need to do that just yet. We could flashback unrecognized horizons. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that? So let's flashback unrecognized horizons. View top cards of library. We get a land, I believe. Put a land card. Oh man, <laughs> we just got rid of like some of our best cards. Oh good. So flash of inspiration goes there. Earth flare goes there. We need the guy that gets back an instant or sorcery, and we'll play a mountain and pass the turn. Okay. Hmm. All right. So let's see here. If Abby does nothing this turn, then now is the time where we might just kill the Repressor Mage, so that way we can just start getting in for more damage. All right, so you drew your card. Is anything good? Ah, <laughs> yes, it is. It is? Okay. All right, so yeah, um, I actually drew something of decent, so we're going to use Cleansing Stroke on oh. your Sound of Source Force. All right. Is there anything we want to do in response? I don't think so. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay. Yep. Yeah, thank God. Okay. I'm still in this game. Yep. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to, for, to attacks. All right, yep. So Dawn Crusader and Fallen Asperger are coming in, so whenever it becomes tapped, I discard a card. Yep. No, it doesn't really matter right now. I have no cards in hand, but I... Hmm. Do we take four? Yeah, I guess we'll just take four. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, you are at 16. Yeah, not too concerned. <laughs> in fact, I've been probably messing up on this meditation prism, and I should have been doing it on a Mori Summoner, but now we will do it for sure. So untap, upkeep. So we will tap Mori Summoner, we will tap Inspired Researcher, and we will put a plus one, plus one counter on both of them, thanks to the meditation prism, and draw. We got, uh Recognize Horizons, yeah, yeah this is great. So let's see here. I think we're just going to cast a giant wild flourishing. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six seems pretty good right now. So let's cast wild flourishing and we make a six, six elemental. And I think so. That means we exile it. And yeah, I think that means we'll pass turn to you. Okay. So let's again set an annotation that this is a six, six. It is not a one, one. And now we have tapped a tapped 3-3 three, three, and a tapped 1-4 to block Abby's uh, Dreamwalkers, if we so desire. All right, All right so it's... we're going to play Cultist Dagger. Ooh, so Abby has Cultist Dagger. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life, but it gives the creature a lifelink, so that's another yes. way for her deck to gain uh, life. All right, so I'm actually going to put this onto the Fawn Aspirant. 
Ah, uh, makes sense. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. This guy's coming in as a 4-4 four, four lifelink. Ooh. Yeah. That's actually... All right, well, first of all, it became tapped, so we have to discard a card and get rid of that. So 4-4 four, four, life... Uh, four, four, two lifelink. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> so we... Uh, all right, so I guess we'll go ahead and block with uh, Mori Summoner. Okay. Since this guy is Dreamwalk, we can block with Tap Creatures, and he's currently at 3-3, so they kill each other? Yep. All right, and you gain four life. Sure do. All right, you can have your Serene Light back, put Oops. it in your graveyard. Okay. All right. Oh, this Cultist Dagger. I mean, you're going to lose two life during your upkeep, but if you can just keep attaching it to creatures, then, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It seems like you have to, it's like desperate times call for desperate measures. So. Exactly. All right, so during your upkeep, yeah, we'll tap Inspired Researcher to add a green counter to it. So now it's a 2-5 uh, draw. We got so many Delver. Hmm. Is there any way we can just, like, discard that from our hands so we can get something good back? Not really, so I think we'll just uh, cast it. We can tap it with Meditation Prism where we can attack with it, and that way we can get a tap to block some Dreamwalkers. But for now, let's attack with our 6-6. Six, six. we got to deal with this thing. All right, so, oh, man, what do I do here? <laughs> I don't know. You gonna, you, I Just take 6? Yeah, I'm going to take it. It's risky, but I'm going to take it. All right, and then during our second main, we might as well crack our Dream Portal. One, two, three, four... Yeah, one, two, three, four, crack dream portal, and we'll draw a card. We got, ooh, Abundant Growth. So let's go ahead and play Abundant Growth, and we will... I guess we can just put it on a forest. And we draw a card off Abundant Growth, and ah, finally, a payoff card. All right, so go ahead and end the turn. It did put our sh uh, shields down for Inspired Researcher. We can't crack it in case something bad happens to it, but... And I think it was worth it just to kind of get through our deck, so. So now Abby can't really attack with her Repressor Mage, because we have so many Delver to block, and she... If you mean you can attack with Dawn Crusader, but we have ways to block it, so... It's worth it for the life gain, I think. <laughs> worth it for the life gain? Yeah. Alright, so you equip Dawn Crusader, and you're playing another Dawn Crusader. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Alright, and no. We, uh, no attacks? No attacks. Yeah, you can't really attack with that, because we could block with the 6-6, six, six and uh, that would kind of suck. Yeah. So let's go ahead and untap, upkeep. During our upkeep, yeah, we'll just do this on both of these guys. We will put a plus one, plus one counter on both of them. And then we will draw. We've got a forest, sure. And let's attack with our 6-6. Six, six. All right. Let's get so in there. You're going to block not, here. Yeah, I'm not going to let that happen. So we're going to block and gain four life. All right, so you go up to eight, but your guy dies. Yep. And then we get to play, ooh, we get to play something nice. So during our second main, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, and play Gardener of Wisdom. So it comes into play with X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the number of lands and or creatures in all graveyards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we'll just casually put eleven plus one plus one counters on this guy. Oh, good lord. And you can go, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Yikes. So you have an 11-11 to deal with, a 6-6 to deal with, and did you lose two life during your... I just did, yes. Okay. So what have you got? You got seven mana, one card in hand. What's it going to be? All right, so I got to kill this 11-11, unfortunately. Uh, touch of Achilles. Yes. Yep. So you're killing my Gardener of Wisdom. Yes, that is just getting out of here. It's out of control. Right, well, you get to put a plus and plus encounter on a creature you control, so that's... Okay. Yeah, I so guess. I guess I'm gonna put it on this guy right here, the uh, Dawn Crusader. Makes sense. Oh boy. <laughs> so it's a three three. Alright. It seems like your synergies are no match for our raw beef. Right, and I can't even attach this cultist dagger. Oh nope. my god. This All set. Is, oh, this is hard, yeah. Alright, so we will untap. Upkeep. Do we wanna tap any of our guys? I think if we attack with everything, Abby has to block here, and here she takes two, we sacrifice this to deal two, so I don't think it's worth it just yet. So let's go ahead and add some counters to these guys, tap them, draw, and we got, ooh, that's a nice one. Any more flashback things in our graveyard? We have this, but that's not very helpful. All right, let's just attack with our 6-6 six, six elemental. All right, and I have no choice but to block it. Yeah, so you are. So we're block here. Block with uh, your Dawn Crusader? Yep. Okay, sure. Is dead. 
There was no sense in blocking with that and the repressor mage because it wouldn't kill it. So. Yeah. And I mean, nothing, no real reason to put lethargy, so we'll end the turn. All right, end tap. Seems like Abby needs a miracle. I do. I'll keep and it, too. And you draw. Yep, down to four. Oh, I draw land! Hey! hey. So is that game over? That is so game over. I'm so mad. Next turn we could attack for a ton. Wow, okay. So I think our deck really benefited from the blue splash. Just, I think so, too. Just being able to have that little extra removal and the little extra interactivity made a ton of difference, I think. And also, it just got rid of some crappy cards in our deck. Like, that game one where we had, what was it, like, Nightfire Brute and this Rememberus, they just didn't do anything, and you just ran us over. I so did, I wrecked you. It was much better to have cards that actually interacted with uh, what you were doing. And it also milled us, these cards, just having these lands that milled us, it helped us quite a bit, so Ooh. very cool. Unfortunately, it seemed like your synergies didn't quite get online. Yeah, it was a bummer. I mean, it, it, on paper, it looked really good. In action, I got mana screwed a lot, so it yeah. wasn't really uh, well, working out. So. It's, it was, it's interesting because in our exhibition game where I did like the spider spawning um, oh, yeah, synergy yeah. deck, it would, I also lost 1-2. And here you had like the game 3 life synergy deck and you also lost one two yeah so just again the synergies they, they're fun but i just don't know if they're powerful enough to tango with just the raw power decks like yeah the big guys aggressive doing stuff decks so yeah exactly all right cool so that was our sealed matches those were fun so abby and i what we'll do next to experience more of the set is we'll do a draft oh wow so okay we'll see you there see you then